Joseph, I mean, what a life. You know, he was born into a family as a son who was an heir to the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From where we sit and talk about this, I mean, what a legacy, what a heritage to be born into all of that. I mean, that's just, it's just powerful. I mean, at that time, you know, he was just a young boy. He was growing up to be a man. He wouldn't have necessarily understood eternally what all of this was going to mean. But certainly he was having divine dreams. And God was, was, had identified that Joseph was the man that he was going to call with a divine dream. And the divine dream was going to be the thing that he needed in a vessel for his will. Because the Father understood, the Heavenly Father understood, that in order for him to be able to be true to his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, he was going to need a Joseph because Joseph was going to need to be positioned that in the future somewhere, the world's systems, the earth itself was going to conspire against the children of Israel and he was going to need Joseph for in the right place at the right time so that he could take care of Jacob and all of Jacob's family because the eternal stakes were high. So Genesis chapter 39 verse 23. Before long, I'm going to go to 22. Before long, the warden put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners and over everything that happened in the prison. The warden had no more worries because Joseph took care of everything. The Lord was with him and caused everything he did to succeed. I want you to see the pattern here. The pattern is in his dad's household, he was working with his brothers, but he got a dream. When he came into Potiphar's household, he started off on the very simplest of tasks as a slave. God promoted him into a powerful man's house so that he knew from a communication point of view, how do I talk to a powerful man? How do I relate to a powerful man? I mean, he'd already experienced that in his household because his dad was a powerful man. He watched how other men and other people had related to his dad who was a wealthy, powerful man, meaning Jacob. He'd had lots of stories about the interactions that Jacob had had with Laban and Jacob had had with, with his brother Esau and Jacob had had with many things. So, so Joseph was learning in his, in his own lane here how to deal with powerful men and how to manage human resources. He, he knew he was learning how to manage the resources of trade, meaning cows and agriculture. He was learning how to manage um, all of the affairs that go along with this kind of status, wealth, resources, many of these things that you and I would have to deal with every day when of course there was a demand for him to be corrupted and to compromise and he ran away from that, he went into prison. But once again, in a very controlled environment. Now, there wasn't wealth, there wasn't uh, status, potential, there's so much status. It wasn't like there was a lot of stuff going on here, but there was still authority and power in the prison. Arguably, in a prison, Power and authority are probably two of the highest things that are available because you do something wrong, someone can beat you, someone can kill you, someone can do all kinds of stuff to you in a prison. So he learned how to manage resources. Here God's promoting him to deal with a completely different kind of person with a whole different cultural background, with a whole different mentality. This is not about growth and abundance and expanding. This is about managing something that is supposed to be controlled and confined. The Lord was with Joseph. He was using every situation that Joseph got into. He was using those situations, those circumstances to teach him things, 
to teach him more about how to deal with things that he wouldn't learn anywhere else. But God was using it because he was getting ready to set Joseph up for the highest position in the land with all different kinds of people from all kinds of walks of life that were going to be under his leadership. I'll see you on the next one.